Hello jungle fans, it's Catherine from the Amazon Jungle Show. Today we are going to learn about mini beasts. Now I'm going to give a big shout out to a little girl called Anna Porter, whose mummy is Kirsty and whose daddy is Neil. And Anna will be watching this video and this is kind of specially for her. I will tell you why, because she is doing mini beasts as a topic for her school or all her work and she's been doing loads of work all week so she's been so good I thought I'd make a little video for you Anna so uh, we're going to learn about mini beasts um, and we're actually going to go into the garden and see if we can see any other little mini beasts as well I'm going to show you some of mine first of all now I'm going to show you a massive big stick insect now these stick insects, uh, there's one called bramble and bramble eats kind of bramble or bracken and this is bramble. Now bramble is a stick insect. Uh, now she is tropical, you will not find her in this country. Uh, they really are from tropical countries um, all over the world. So what I'm going to do is show you her and you can see that uh, she's very gentle very kind of spiky. Now she looks uh, very very dark brown and she looks like a dead leaf. That's exactly what she wants to do is look like a dead leaf, completely uninteresting, unedible. Nobody wants to be interested in her when she looks like a dead leaf. You can see her little feelers, actually quite long feelers, um, at the front here. Um, and you can see her tiny little eyes, the two little yellow dots, if you can see. And there are, she's got eyes, she's got um, kind of so-called like a heart and lungs, everything that we have. She breathes the same air as we do as well. Um, and she's a living being just like us. She would feel pain if I hurt her or if she um, would feel stress if I stressed her out. Because she's going very, very slowly, She's not stressed at all. She's happy in my hand. Um, she's got kind of lots of spikes. Her, her, her back, her armour plating is very rough. And she wants to look and live on branches. Okay, so she camouflages into the branches and she uses amazing camouflage uh, just so that uh, the birds and anything don't eat her. She will stay still if she is nervous or threatened. She would stay absolutely still and that means that um, no one can see her. But she's kind of crawling over my hand because she kind of knows me. So this, this, is, uh, this is Bramble. <laughs> yes, she looks really mad. Kind of a very, very big insect. There we go. Now, stick insects are amazing, um, but you have to be very careful when you are keeping them and you have to feed them and give them water and give them everything that they need. So this is all the, the bramble for her. And luckily it's um, free in the garden, which is great for her. I feed her other things as well. Now, I'm going to put her back. Um, all insects um, have six legs, so all arthropods. Remember in the last video you learnt about um, spiders and scorpions being arachnids. So these insects, all insects or um, invertebrates are arthropods and that's the name that's given to them. And it means that they have six legs, they kind of live in the soil, they're little mini creatures, very, very tiny little creatures. Um, and that is arthropods. Now, I'm going to show you another one. And this is a little beetle. And this little beetle is a sun beetle. Actually, I've got two of them. And what I'm going to do is very gently put them on my hand so that you can see. Now, these little sun beetles are called sun beetles because of their little yellow markings. And if you can see, I'm not going to keep them out in the sun too long because they belong under the ground. But they bury into the ground. And I'm going to show you, yes, I know. I have to keep them on my hand. Um, and they've got a little yellow marking and they're called little sun beetles. <laughs> there, get yourself back up again. There we go. And they crawl very, very slowly, so we have to be careful with them. There we go. And they go into, uh, underneath the soil, 
and they have their little babies underneath the soil and then they cocoon themselves and come out as little beetles. <laughs> now, um, these are not shown in the shoes, mainly because they're so, so very tiny and so very delicate. I shall put them in the soil again. Now, um, I'm going to show you uh, another millipede, or, or the millipede that you saw um, in the last video, but I want to show you her again because she is part of the mini beasts. So this is a millipede and she's a giant African millipede. You will not see ones this size in this country, so you'll have to go to the tropical islands to see millipedes in Africa, etc. Uh, I'm going to let her uncurl and she'll uncurl herself uh, when she knows she's safe <laughs> and she will let you see all of her little legs. There we go. Good morning. Now, she's got millions of legs and a very, very hard shell. And I want to show you the bigger size because you're going to see the little ones in a minute. Okay. And there's her uncurling and you can see she's feeling around with her wee feelers as she doesn't have any eyes. Okay, and you can see all her legs. Very, very hard shell. All of these lines are little segments. This is very important because they're segmented. They have little lines all down them. Okay, so you have seen a stick insect. You have seen a millipede and you have seen sun beetles. And all of these ones kind of just eat uh, leaves, um, vegetables, things like that, kind of uh, all the sort of the green leaves. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to go exploring into my garden. And after the video, you can go outside into your own garden. If you have a yard, even brilliant, that's, that's fine too. If you don't have any grass and you just have a yard with uh, slabs or little pot plants anywhere um, or little rocks lift them up even if you have a doorstep look around your doorstep and underneath little plants around your doorstep will be little creatures so i'm going to take you and we're going to see if we can find any arthropods or stroke invertebrates so follow me and we're going to see <clears throat> Now it might get a little bit dark here. So underneath all my pot plants, okay, um, I'm going to see if we see anything. As soon as I move this, you're actually going to see um, them all jumping. And this is really important because they're going to jump out of the way or they're going to curl up. So like you saw with the millipede, whenever I disturb them and they're all, they're all flat, they're all happy, they're going to curl up really quickly for defense. And it's nicknamed roly polies. So you can nickname them roly polies. Okay, so I'm going to see. There we go. Now. Okay. So not awfully sure if you can see all of these little creatures. So I'm going to pick a couple out and show them to you. Okay. This is a little uh, millipede, but the tiniest, tiniest variety. Okay, here we go. So this is what you're going to see. You're going to see tiny little millipedes. There we go. Tiny, tiny little millipedes. Can you see that okay? Yeah, there we go. So tiny, tiny little millipedes. This is exactly what you saw in the big millipede. Only the tiny little garden variety. So, I shall put this back. Now I'm going to lift another one. This is a wood lice. And wood lice are the tiny little slaters. They're called slaters or wee wood lice. Let me see if you can see that. Okay, yes, just about. There we go. So wood lice are really, really interesting creatures as well. They have a very, very hard armor plating shell. Um, and also they breathe through gills. So it's not, they actually breathe through gills like fish. Um, they actually help your plants. So all of these insects are going to help your plants. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there. So these are lovely. They have wee feelers too. 
and lots and lots of little legs. So they don't just have six legs, they kind of have lots of legs. Okay, so I'm going to show you another one. Now, if we can see underneath here, there are little slugs. Okay, I'm going to lift them up so that you can see. Oh, the wood lice is still on my hand. Oh, you want to stay there? Hello. Um, and there's a little baby slug. So you'll see the little baby slugs. Okay. Um, now, I'm looking for a centipede because I did see one. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to pick this up along with the thing so you can see. There we go. So it's going to come out in a minute onto my hand, if you can see. All right, so this is a centipede, but it's not a centipede that's dangerous. Um, I'll just put you here so we can see it better. There we go. Okay, so let's see if you can see there. There she is on my little finger okay so this is a centipede and centipedes I'm gonna get really clear let me see there we go there's a little centipede okay and the little centipede it's not toxic or poisonous to us although we're going to wash our hands after this <laughs> and there she is okay so centipedes um, at the size of the millipede that I have would be quite kind of quite toxic Whereas these wee garden ones um, only kind of, uh, they kind of eat all the insects that would be damaging to your plants. So you can see her. <laughs> there we go. Now she's on my hand. Okay. They're different from millipedes. They have the legs to the side, not underneath them. And they are flat, not like a worm. So centipedes are flat with the legs out to the side. And millipedes are round like a worm. Okay, now she's fallen onto the grass. So let's see if I can see anything else. Uh, there's lots of things skipping, so we're going to see in another under another pot. And let's see if we can move this. There, they're all jumping. So you can maybe, hopefully, see them all jumping there. And they're all jumping like mad. And these are kind of tiny, tiny little bugs that are all going to get out of the way. And again, there is a little millipede. Okay, so there's a little millipede. And they're very cute. Hold all of these animals, uh, girls and boys. Get used to them being with you. They don't hurt you. But we're going to wash your hands with soap after. But hold these animals and look at them really, really lovely because uh, we live with them, okay? Now, here's another pot, and a few of them are bouncing again. <laughs> I also see tiny little spiders underneath, very, very tiny ones. So I'm going to put all the flower pots back because that is their little home. Now, boys and girls, uh, Go out and explore all these little mini beasts um, and see what you can find underneath the stones. And I hope you like this little video uh, just about mini beasts. And what we're going to do in the next video is you'll have to find out in the next video. But what we're going to do is just comment below um, and stay safe as well. And hopefully you have a lovely day today in your garden exploring. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye.